Hi there. Today we're going to do a sternal breath. I've got my buddy Max with me today. This is one of the things that helps me drop into my parasympathetic nervous system. I hope you have a buddy that does the same. So first, as always, close the eyes and just check in with your natural breath. So you want to just take a little moment to see what's your breath doing when you're not trying to influence it in any way. Notice how your breath is expressing itself here today in this moment. No judgment, there are no right or wrong ways to breathe here. You're just trying to become aware of what your natural pattern is. And then slowly open the eyes into a soft gaze first, and then slowly allow the room to come into focus. Whether you choose to do this one seated or lying down, it's equally, equally beneficial. You're gonna place a hand on your sternum. The sternum is the breastbone. So one hand on the sternum. If you're lying down, it's actually nice to use something that's got a little bit of weight to it, like a sandbag can be quite nice. It gives the nervous system a little bit of feedback about where you're trying to direct your breath to. Otherwise, a hand does the trick. We're gonna be breathing in and out through the nose. Try to make your breath long, smooth, soft, and slow. On your inhales, I'm gonna exaggerate it with my hand. On your inhales, you want to imagine that your breath is pushing the sternum away from the spine and floating it a little bit towards your face. On the exhales, you want to feel like the sternum sinks in towards the spine and slides a little bit towards your feet. So inhale, sternum floats away from the spine, tips a little bit towards the face. Exhale, sternum sinks in towards the spine and slides a little bit towards the feet. So go ahead at your own rhythm. I don't want to guide the speed of the breath. You want to go with what feels good in your body. But try to keep the breath long, smooth, soft, and slow. Particularly your exhales. And you want to notice that movement of the sternum underneath your hand. Now for some of you, there may not be any movement. So you keep breathing as I talk about what this breath does. For some of you, might, you might find that particularly on the exhale, there's no excursion, there's no sinking. That's very common. A lot of people have a lot of tension in that, the muscles and fascia that are underneath the sternum, that breastbone. So it's kind of a chicken or egg question. If you have tension underneath the sternum, that is something that can trigger feelings of anxiety. Or if you're someone who suffers from anxiety over time, that will create tension in those muscles. Regardless of which came first, getting this breastbone to move fluidly, softly, and smoothly helps in some mechanical way to calming down feelings of anxiousness. So keep inhaling and exhaling through the nose, nice and slow, nice and soft, nice and smooth. And try to notice how, this, how the movement of the sternum might feel different by the end of this session compared to how it felt at the beginning. At the beginning, you might have felt no movement in either direction, and that's fine. At the end, you might feel that you gained a couple of millimeters. How much you gained is going to be individual. It's going to depend on your mood that day, what else you're dealing with that day. So again, no judgment. There is no test here. There's no one to compare it to. It's your body. You just want to start to feel some change. And if you've been tight under here for many years, it could take several breath exercises like this before it starts to chip away at that tension. But I promise you that simply doing this breath exercise does start to soften that fascia underneath that breastbone. So keep at it. Keep going with that same breath pattern. And one more thing to notice, for some of you, you might find that on your inhales, your shoulders are rising up. And on the exhales, the shoulders are dropping down. We want to try to avoid that. If you notice your shoulders are moving with your breath, it's an indication that it's your neck muscles that are primarily breathing for you rather than your diaphragm and the other muscles that are meant to breathe for you. We call it accessory breathing. And that's another thing that contribute to anxiety. So if you notice your shoulders moving up and down as you breathe, maybe place yourself in front of a mirror the first few times you do it. And if you watch my shoulders, there's no change there, although there is movement under my hand, which may not be picked up by the camera from this angle. 
but trust me that there is. Let's go for three more breaths. I like the other videos. If you're enjoying this and you want to keep going, please do just press pause or just keep repeating it or just turn it off and go at your own rhythm. One last one. And then allow the hands to come down in whatever position is comfortable for you. Eyes closed and bring your awareness inwards for a soma scan, a little check-in. And you just want to notice, has anything changed? And it doesn't have to be life shattering. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Any change is a positive change. And you want to note any change. You want to tattoo the awareness of a change onto your nervous system. So say it out loud or say it in your mind, but say, ah, wow, I didn't feel any movement in my sternum at the beginning, but now I actually feel a little softer under here or I feel like I've got more freedom, or I don't feel such a heaviness, I don't feel like an elephant is sitting on my chest. Whatever change you might have noticed, mentally repeat that change to yourself even a couple of times, and it's like you're tattooing it on your nervous system. So that the next time you go to do this practice, it's easier for the body to understand what it is you're trying to achieve. I hope that helps. Use it as often as you like.